Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to Dear Esther. And I have, an, I have a confession to make. I already played a bit of this, and because of the stupid game turning, uh, if you if you uh, start it, it turns your microphone up to max, and because of that, all of my sound clipped. So I have to record the first episode again. Uh, this is a walking simulator, and uh, it's a pretty old game, and for how old it is, it looks pretty alright. So we have like four chapters to go through. I saw the boy, I, I went, went like halfway through this, I think, in my first episode, so I think we'll... <laughs> go until there again. It's not that I uh, really am spoiled of any gameplay mechanics. There are none. Let's just start this. Dear Esther, I've lost track of how long I've been here and how many visits I've made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Besides, I have always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. Yeah. And I spent a lot of time wondering about whether this was the game or another game no this isn't the game okay that uh, had the photo uh, graphic textures uh, on uh, game models but i think it's the vanishing of ethan carter uh, and not this one yeah this doesn't look quite right um yeah that's what i've been wondering about for about 10 minutes in the last episode because there's a lot of time to talk about stuff if you're in a walking simulator and you're walking that slow I still don't know who Esther is and who the speaker is, not really, from my first recorded episode, so... At night you can see the lights sometimes from a passing tanker or trawler. From up on the cliffs they are mundane, but down here they fugue into ambiguity. For instance, I cannot readily tell if they belong above or below the waves. The distinction now seems banal. Why not everything and all at once? There's nothing better to do here than indulge in contradictions whilst waiting for the fabric of life to unravel. This is new. I didn't walk this way through the cliffs before, so I wanted to shake this out. But I think this will end pretty soon this way because I know that the other way leads to where I want to go. I have found the ship's manifest, crumpled and waterlogged under a stash of paint cans. It tells me that along with this present cargo, there was a large quantity of antacid yogurt bound for the European market. It must have washed out to sea. God knows there are no longer gulls or goats here to eat it. Okay. This is definitely a new message that I haven't gotten before. But this was a dead end, as I assumed, and now we have to walk in silence until we're over there again. But this was a nice find. So there's no sprinting, no jumping, no crouching, only WASD and the mouse for camera. No left click, no right click.
By the way, if you want to try out this game, it's also it's not only on Steam, it's also in the uh, the Humble Trough. So if you have uh, Humble Monthly, you have uh, free access to this game. Or Humble Choice, it's called now. And the the uh, cheapest version of Humble Choice isn't that is that that expensive. You won't get the 10 games you got from Humble Monthly, but I think you get three Reading games Reading Donnelly by the one. week afternoon sunlight. He landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend, but then he didn't have my reasons. I still don't understand why this game uh, messes with your microphone settings. When someone had died or was dying, or so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. They were God-fearing people, those shepherds. There was no love in the relationship. Donnelly tells me that they had one Bible that was passed around in strict rotation. It was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776, two years before the island was abandoned altogether. In the interim, I wonder, did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit its contradiction? And we see a little sailing ship down there. And an optional cave next to it. We will go inside there. Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I would leave you presents outside your retreat in this interim space between cliff and beach. I would leave you loaves and fishes but the fish stocks have been depleted and I've run out of bread. I would row you back to your homeland in a bottomless boat, but I fear we would both be driven mad by the chatter of the sea creatures. So this is a nerve uh, cell. This is ethanol, the chemical formula for that. It was also on the wall in one of the buildings at the, at the lighthouse in the beginning. And we have, what is that? I have no idea, an octopus? This looks like a cell again, the tree. Uh, by the way, the flashlight uh, gets activated by itself. I can, am, even, am not even in control of that. And yeah, we have been around this whole island. You can't get on top of that where you see the fence. You can't get there. <coughs> we have been all around this mountain. And I assume that radio tower over there, that's 
one of our last targets to go to, goals to go to. I tend to say target when I mean goal. Just stupid mistranslation from, from German. Because that's the same, both of them have exactly the same uh, word he in German. He still maintains he wasn't drunk, but tired. I can't make the judgment or the distinction anymore. I was drunk when I landed here, and tired too. I walked up the cliff path in near darkness and camped in the bay where the trawler lies beached. It was only at dawn that I saw the Bothy and decided to make my temporary lodgings there. I was expecting just the aerial and a transmitter stashed in a weatherproof box somewhere on the mount. It had an air of uneasy permanence to it. Like all the other buildings here, erosion seems to have evaded it completely. So we have here another chemical formula, which I should have looked up in, the, in my pause, but I was uh, too preoccupied cursing about uh, there being this problem uh, with this game. By the way, if you look down here, you see the edge of where we just were down at the, at the other side. There where we got the message above what the ship contains. By the way, if you kill yourself, you get this message. Come back. Okay. Let's see if we can get it, uh, go this way. I know where this leads. Let's see what uh, if we can go up this little passage where the water comes down. No, we have in invisible walls here. But uh, it looks like we should be able we should be able to climb up all of this, but the game wants to streamline us. So, and this leads to the next chapter. So we're done with the lighthouse. Dear Esther, <coughs> I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. To pull ashore on a road? Yeah, that will be tied to Esther's backstory. And I know to what part of her backstory it's tied, but uh, we get that if we go up that valley, and we'll get that. This is the boy. I have no idea how to pronounce that. This is U and then O. How do I pronounce that? No idea. Can't be the boy, because that's written with only an O. So I say something like boy, boy. All night the boy has kept me lucid. I sat when I was at the very edge of despair, when I thought I would never unlock the secret of the island. I sat at the edge and I watched the idiot boy blink through the night. He's mute and he's retarded 
and he has no thought in his metal head but to blink each wave and each minute aside until the morning comes and renders him blind as well as deaf mute. In many ways, we have much in common. <laughs> Yeah, and there's this tanker where you could tell a really good story about that and fill our time walking past that. Uh, but because the first thing is so long that you could basically walk outside this area again, this area is completely void of more, more things to say. One was triggered by me going near that edge and I'm going to the other edge of this and this part of the map is over in like three minutes in which uh, which have uh, have taken me like 10 minutes the last time because I checked everything but there was no messages the skybox looks okay and all the plants are 2d turning around and facing one constantly following one would be a bit creepy but it's just the 2d deck textures of the pa uh, plants for their work look how they line themselves towards me when i come close not even when i come close look at the thing inside the stone <laughs> There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? And that's what it's saying to that boat. Okay. Let's go up that valley then. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. So that's what I'm, I was hinting at. I think that Esther died in a car accident, and this guy here, were playing as is writing these letters letters to her. What charnel house lies at the foot of this abyss? How many dead shepherds could fill this hole? Let's see. One. One's not enough. Come back. And we jump past this hole. begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the aerial and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. I assume he has come to this island to plummet himself off the cliff. Which is not a thing I would recommend anyone to do. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Three cormorants seen at dusk, they did not land. 
this house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents, my camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. He's saying different stuff this time. Last time he sp spoke about the camping shares, uh, specifically like two sentences. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what to make out of that. Yeah, but he won't say that the moment I go in here. Hmm. Maybe because I didn't explore the, the two sh uh, shacks on the way here. <coughs> Interesting. I just wanted to show you that you can take the shortcut because that cave is where we're going but uh, no shortcuts in this game. Jakobsen's ribcage, they told Donnelly, was deformed the result of some birth defect or perhaps a traumatic injury as a child. Brittle and overblown it was, and desperately light. Perhaps it was this that finally did for him, unable to contain the shattering of his heart. In half-light, his skeleton a discarded prop, a false and calcified seabird. This uh, manner of speaking just reminds me so of um, the bit, uh, little bits that I saw from... Uh... They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. His fingernails were raw and bitten to the quick. They found the phosphorescent moss that grows in the caves deep under the nails. Whatever he'd been doing under the island when his strength began to fail is lost. He'd struggled halfway up the cliff again, perhaps in a delirium, perhaps trying to reach the Bothy's fire before curling into a stone and expiring. Wow, what a story. And then we find this here, this ship here. So it reminds me of getting over it with Venice 40 which uh, I only saw like a little bit of it uh, and I remember like the, the voice of the developer just talking to people and people getting, people getting really annoyed of that. We saw something there. Let's see if I can. I'll see if I can make that clearer what we're seeing there in post processing. We see. And that makes me think. Let's play Getting Over It with Bennett 40 next in the slot. I think that's also in the Humble Trough if I saw that right. I, for myself, I did uh, purchase a humble monthly bundle Climbing in November. Down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. And this is how far I've come in the first, uh, my first recording.
and we only took two less minutes because of the slow walking speed. Um, what I want, wanted to tell is I uh, purchased the album monthly in November uh, which was the last month uh, before they announced the change and so uh, uh, I basically got one monthly bundle and that was it and then I was on Humble Choice in the uh, Humble Choice Classic uh, category which you only can enter when you uh, which you can only enter when you have uh, purchased Humble Monthly before Choice came out so uh, everything done right there. Okay, uh, so much for that anecdote. See you next time when we explore that cave and I get finally to see something new. We wanna go into the cave here. I'm very interested now as this is new territory for me. And that's the chapter end. <laughs>Caves. I like caves. I dig the visuals here. Yeah. Great. Stalactites and stalagmites. Stalactites going down, stalagmites going up. So now the graffitis are repeating. Uh, I can't go over this hill. And we have like luminescent moss on the I would have called it mushrooms most likely. Uh, if I hadn't uh, heard the story about the moss before. Some of these... Yeah. Yeah, the height of this texture is higher than the the mesh that's under under it. We can go here, or we can also go the side path. Ah, he's ducking under the uh, stalactites. Go diving. He actually went underwater. Huh. I hope I didn't miss anything because of that. Because that red cave looked red. I wanted to shake it out. Caves are great. Caves are really great. There are multiple... Ah, that's the one I jumped down. that goes towards the red cave. That's the one I came up and then jumped down. Okay. So if you ever want to see true, true, uh, true, true beauty of nature, check out the caves that are all over this planet, everywhere. They're just great. There will be some close to you, quotes on quotes, like a thousand kilometers away, unless you're on an island.
you're on one of the Pacific Island states might not be that way. So can I please go to that red cave I saw before? I'm traversing my own death throes. The infection in my leg is an oil rig that dredges black muck up from deep inside my bones. I swallow fistfuls of diazepam and paracetamol to stay conscious. The pain flows through me like an underground sea. Okay, let's check out this side of the cave. We have crystal formations here. This side of the cave, I say, this side of the river. I see the flow direction of the river, but uh, that's the FOV, uh, the defeat of you that's doing this. That you always think you're looking downstream, downslope, no matter what, what direction you look at. No idea what's that supposed to be. Can't go that way, okay. Let's cross that because I want to look at that. Get a hair can. I think this might be the structure of the game. No, no, that's an electric circuit. I see the uh, the sources up here. Yeah, yeah. That was an electric circuit. It's been a while since I painted my last one. I don't think we'll see that red cave again that I saw and then turned away from because I thought let's go the side way first. I hope we don't skip story. Yeah, chemicals again. Actually, okay. That's an, uh, oh, how are they called in English? Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> Bidding stones of peptides. I may not. I'm amino acid. I think it's amino acid in English. Looked a bit like phenylalanine, alanine, but a bit odd. otherworldly caves okay we can't go up we can only go down that's the this same this is a drowned man's face reflected in the moonlit waters it can only be a dead shepherd who has come to drunk drive you home That thing was clearly bottomless from above. From here you can see that it's... Oh, it's reflecting. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's fennel Eleanor again. Or something that looks close to that. It's not really close. It's not close at all. The acid part is missing. Whatever. Behold Damascus and the last word I can't decipher okay we have different things we have this electric circuit again then this there's Damascus again then we have like the nerve cells again this looks like quite something away from being a city and 
shall be ruinous keep. So these are no stalactites, these are roots coming from the ceiling. There's some of these these plants that have like is it really roots? No idea, so I've no idea how plants survive in caves because they will never get light, so uh, photosynthesis is never a solution for that, so no idea how it works with them. We're swimming again. caves. Should have become a geologist, instead I have become a chemist. No. Uh, we can't go past this, I think. AOTS 2210. Oh, we're not mating in it. Ah, the accident. He also called something about a drunk driving me home, so uh, uh, Esther home. So I assume he drove and she died because of that. And that's what it looked like. Okay, the scratch everything I've said about a good-looking game, these car models are awful. Where do we go from here? Let's go up. Yeah. I think he's here to end his life, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how the story goes on. But I think this leaves us with only this way out. That's again the reflection, which didn't quite look right. That's the problem with it, the reflection doesn't put, it doesn't quite look right Ang uh, from the angle. So, uh, my brain doesn't get it as being a reflection, just as being like, yeah, that's what we see below the water. Okay. Let's go towards the light. The light at the end of the tunnel. And that was chapter 3. Chapter 4, then. I don't remember what that was about. I remember the cave, but what was number 4? Left or right? Great choices again. Full moon. Let's follow the lights. Oh, there's a little... F uh, the moon over the Sanford okay. Junction, headlights in your retinas. Donnelly drove a grey hatchback without a bottom. All the creatures of the tarmac rose to sing to him. All manner of symbols crudely scrawled across the cliff face of my unrest. My life reduced to an electrical diagram. All my gulls have taken flight. They will no longer roost on these outcrops. The lure of the moon over the Sanford Junction is too strong. So Donnelly himself and Esther are three of the persons involved in the ex uh, in the accident and Esther died from it oh 
why are you making these electrical diagrams? What does that have to do with the story? There's light over there. Okay, we see the same things every time we draw. So it's not progressively getting worse. Okay, that is where the lights go, but this is where another light is. Let's go there. I want to go to the radio tower, though. I saw that in the distance. Wouldn't that be here somewhere? Okay, here's lit candles everywhere. When I picked my thumbnail for the series, I didn't know about this being the last of the locations, otherwise I would have taken another thumbnail. Not spoiling the last yeah, it was like this place from from up there, a view towards the, down towards this place. It's the thing I took for the thumbnail. So that goes over there. There is the end of that pathway. The fire and I'll soil I chose cave. fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip. Charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceiling. Okay. And this is like a shrine thing. Why is there a computer here? And a syringe. Let's have a short look at the other. Is that a person? That's a person up there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's where the end of our journey is. Up there. Photos. I just wanted to see if I had missed something there, and that's the thing I would have missed. A box of paint, great, a can of paint, whatever. It's definitely a person up there, or supposed to be one. Let's follow the lights. The lights go into the cave, but also to the left of it. This, this is just another place with a mural. Let's see what it looks like. It's that same chemical again. I'll have to look that up, what that is. I 
this also doesn't lead to anything but there's this tires okay this whole island is a metaphor if the tires from the car crash are there and we can't be too far away from all by the roadside by the exit for damascus all ticking and cooled all feathers and remorse all of these signals rooted like traffic through the circuit diagrams of our guts those badly written boats torn bottomless in the swells washing us forever ashore him around him no idea heaven shown around him last form of shine might might be from heaven light from heaven sh shown around him There's a pathway a bit down there, which we could have taken. Can go and go down there if we want to. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Okay, so these are the letters he has written but never sent because he was stuck on this island. Or a sudden, on a sudden, a light from the heaven shone around him. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, okay. On a sudden, whatever. And he fell to the ground. When the shine, when the light shone around him. But this leads nowhere. We need to go towards that person and then the radio tower, I assume. So I assume this will be a two episode playthrough. I'm alright with that. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they resuscitated him by hitting him in the chest with stones gathered by the roadside. He was lifeless for 21 minutes, certainly long enough for the oxygen levels in his brain to have decreased and caused hallucinations and delusions of transcendence. I'm running out of painkillers, and the moon has become almost unbearably bright. There's the, the thing I thought was a person. We'll see if it is. Maybe we don't go up there. It was more like a beacon to, to guide us here. That felt like a point of no return. There's more stuff on there. We're now getting shirts I've begun music. my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. You can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. 
when this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. And as he was proceeding on his journey, that was where the person was standing. I'm pretty sure it was a person now that there's nothing there. So I c it couldn't have been a oddly shaped stone. I'm pretty sure it was here. Come back. Hmm. I expected a more... Uh, more story here because it was like a momentous place to jump down but it doesn't seem like it like it was in the end okay and as he was proceeding on his journey what did happen has come near to Pameus was come and was come near to Damascus as he was proceeding on his journey and was come near to Damascus and he If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Days without sight. Days without sight. And he was tired? And neither did he eat nor drink. Tiere? Is that a word in English? Stones in my stomach will weigh me down and ensure my descent is true and straight. I will break through the fog of these godforsaken pills and achieve clarity. All my functions are clogged, all my veins are choked. If my leg doesn't rot off before I reach the summit, it will be a miracle. There are 21 connections in the circuit diagram of the anti-lock brakes. There are 21 species of gull inhabiting these islands. It is 21 miles between the Sanford Junction and the turn-off for home. All these things cannot, will not be a coincidence. Didn't I see that mural from down there? Why didn't I see it from down there? Oh, that's not where we... Ah, oh, we could have seen it from that... From that candle looking up. That was the first mural I, th I saw down there. Okay. Okay, let's respawn. It's easier. Come back. Maybe I'll even put this together in a single video. Let's see. And it came to pass that I that as I made my journey and was come come all unto Damascus 
it's difficult to read that. Come back. Journey. And was come. All. Unto Damascus. How am I supposed to read this? Noon. Suddenly, the... Something from heaven, the shone from heaven... Great light round about me and could not and could not see blind with panic deaf with the roar of the cage traffic heart stopped on the road to damascus paul sat at the roadside hunched up like a gull like a bloody gull as useless and as doomed as a syphilitic cartographer a dying goat herd an infected leg a kidney stone blocking the traffic bound for sanford and exeter he was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. All his roads and his tunnels and his paths led inevitably to this moment of impact. This is not a recorded natural condition. He should not be sat there with his chemicals and his circuit diagrams. He should not be sat there at all. Um, now I already forgot what I read here. Uh, for the glory that light being led by the hand of me with me weareth me that weareth me Okay. Came into I came into Damascus. Okay, we are all the way up to the radio tower. I will send news to each and every star. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent.
Does it go towards the paper boats? I assume. So, I assume this was the Esther. See you tomorrow in the short game slot with uh, getting over it with Bennett Forty. And yeah, have a nice day. And yeah, see you then. I have a black screen. But I hear the waves. Did the game crash? Something to, supposed to happen now? Just tapped out and in of it to see if something is happening here. There's game. I should. I can't do anything about this now. Okay, but the menu is still working, so the game is not crashed. Hmm. Okay, I assume the game is done with. So, have a nice day.